So I feel proud to come in every day doing the job that I do to help fight climate change. Obviously, it's one of the biggest challenges that's affecting us at the minute. I'm Beth Quinn. I'm a chemistry engineer and I work at Hinkley Point C Nuclear Power Station. It's currently under construction. It's part of the solution for helping Britain to achieve net zero. And when we're operating in about 2030, we should be able to provide electricity for about 6 million homes. So nuclear power produces electricity by fission reactions in the reactor. It then uh, splits uranium atoms to produce a lot of heat. And then we use that heat to boil water to produce steam. So pretty much just like a kettle does. And then we take that steam and we drive our turbines and then that's connected to a generator which produces all of the electricity. To be able to produce nuclear power, we need a lot of water. So for example, we'll use water to cool the reactor. One of the key roles for chemists is that we need to make sure that water's of really good quality. If we have a lot of impurities in our water samples, then when we flush that equipment, it can contaminate the inside of the pipework. It can create a, like coating layers, um, which can damage that equipment, which means it won't function properly in the future when we need it to. So one of the tests that we do to make sure that the water quality is really good is to measure the amount of silica that's in the water. Naturally occurring, typically found in water, but it's actually everywhere on a construction site. And so that can also contaminate our samples and that's something that we need to be aware of. So here I am about to perform a test for silica. To check for silica, I add a reagent to a water sample and then I wait for a reaction to occur. If there's silica present in the sample, it'll turn blue like this one that I prepared earlier. To determine exactly how much silica is present, I'll use this UV-Vis spectrometer. From this reading, I can see that the contamination is high and therefore we can't use this water on the equipment in the plant. Chemistry tests like this protect the plant and contribute to making nuclear energy safe. So every day for me is quite different. I'll spend a couple of days a week on site. Some of that I'll be spending in the lab. Some of that I'll be in the office. I'll be writing chemistry specifications, which outline the limits for when we're operating. Also writing work instructions when we're in the lab and assessing chemical hazards on site just to make sure that we're keeping everybody safe whilst they're out working. My journey has never really been planned. So I got into my current role after undertaking an industrial placement year at Sizewell B Power Station. That was the initial thing that got me interested in the nuclear industry. I finished my degree at the University of Leeds and then came back on the science and engineering graduate scheme. And then after that, I joined my current role as a chemistry engineer. If you're considering a career in chemistry, I'd say do it, especially in the nuclear industry because it's a really good opportunity to help contribute to fighting climate change and producing a cleaner energy to help achieve net zero.